County in rural New Hampshire, and we are attempting the New England Wine Brew and Tattoo Review, because that's a great excuse to try everything. <laughs> It'll be awesome. <laughs> so we're like your friends that figure stuff out and give you good advice, uh, or advice. We're not saying it's good. At least our opinion, anyway. Yeah, yes. Biased. Partially biased. I have an itchy nose. Often. <laughs> so we're not sanitary friends. <laughs> so we were debating before we turned on the camera, uh, which one we should start with. And what we're actually doing, we're doing what? Uh, Henniker Brewing Brew, Company. Henniker Brewing Company from Henniker, New Hampshire. Yep. And we have picked up, uh, wait a minute, IPA, which is... <laughs> I thought you forgot the title of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, wait a minute. and we'll go into what that is uh, in a minute. And we've also picked up their anniversary brew, which is uh, Company. It's a quadruple Belgian style ale. That's a lot of Belgian. So we are going to start with a lighter beer first. Lighter as in alcohol content, color. Um, not necessarily not flavor. Necessarily flavor uh, because it is an IPA, so I believe... This one's 65 IBUs, unless that was something else I was reading earlier, but uh, let's see here. What's an IBU? Uh, it's increments of bitter bitterness. Ooh, does that mean like it has a grudge, or what makes it bitter? Uh, I mean, hops. it's New England. The amount of hops. Okay. So and happy the, doesn't make the, you and happy? And the way, the way they put the hops in. Does happy make you bitter? Okay, so this one doesn't actually say on here how many IBUs it was, um, but that's okay. We'll, we'll either put that in uh, on the word, we'll put that in and type on below once we figure it out. Or we'll or, try it again at Henniker. Yeah, and we'll actually ask them what it is. Henniker, but anyway, if you want us to come visit. So what we're going to do is this one here, Henniker Brewing Company. It's, wait a minute, IPA. Why is the same on both sides? Can I? I thought you were holding your piano backwards. So I was like, honey, you have to <laughs> That would have been really funny because this could happen. <laughs> oh, it's got a really nice, like, palish color when we pour it there. It looks like kind of like grapefruit juice. Yeah. It's definitely like a non filtered. It's got a little cloudy look to it. It's kind of nice. I like that. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, you're getting ready. She's getting nervous, isn't she? Yeah. Um, so this goes for twelve ninety nine a four pack, um, and we're gonna determine in here. We're gonna let you know what what we think of flavors, value, all that good stuff. Oh. I will say right off the bat, I have enjoyed Henniker in the past, and and it's something that we've actually enjoyed their brewery and their different brews. We've never tried these two ones though, so this will be fun. Yeah, completely green to these, and definitely with that price tag and with this amount of craft, it's not a what is it cheap and chug kind of. It's fun. It doesn't have as much profile as I thought it was going to have. What do you mean by profile? Um, it doesn't have as much many uh, layers of hops. There's just some fruitiness in there, which is really nice. But it's like the grapefruit. Um, the hops are, are they're definitely there. It's a really IBUs. nice smell to it. Yep, the IBUs are, are up there, maybe in the 50 range. But uh, it's, it's good. It's a really clean tasting, smooth IPA. I could actually put that in an any weather IPA, which is a really hard gig for me for IPAs. A lot of times I only do IPAs when it's warm and sunny and you need yeah. something to kind of refresh you. Absolutely. But there's a softness, there's like a friendliness to yeah. this that you don't usually get in an IPA. I think, see, it's not as crisp as like I like in my summer IPAs. Right. So, so it's more, it's more like that spring fall I was gonna say a spring, spring IPA spring like late winter IPA almost and it's it's good though it's really good really well brewed that's really nice you can see it's got cloud but not cloud in a bad way just not filtered it doesn't have that I can see it's it's very pretty yeah it, it's a six percent ABV so that's alcohol by volume 
Um, most of you who are watching has probably already known that, but that's all right. Um, and it's definitely like a like a grapefruit limoncello, but not like lemon or lemon wine or lemon peel or grapefruit like zest. It's definitely yeah. like a very almost like a sorbet kind of. Uh, def I totally see the sorbet ish flavor texture is what you're going at. I think. Nommy, like, nommy. You should have like done the little swirly thing and poured it on top to make it. Mm. Maybe I'll do that the next one. Yeah, we'll try that next one. Well, probably not because the next one will fit right in the glass. <laughs> 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 Cheers. That's really fun. Could we have a Um, I don't know that I would. I don't know that I would consider the value on this to be like really great. I'd have it again. I'd buy it on tap or something like that. You saw it on tap, I'd definitely grab it. I would love I don't know to try that I necessarily buy another four pack because it's not my favorite IPA. It's really good. Fantastically brewed, well crafted. These guys know what they're doing. And if you're okay with going out and paying, you know, six, nine, twelve dollars for a beer out, three dollars for a beer at home of this quality is still totally worth it. Right. Absolutely. And if this this is if and like there are I think this is this is a broad spectrum IPA. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. Are we gonna park this one for a second and come back to it? We can do that. Absolutely. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna park this. <laughs> now I'll put it over here. You know what? Do you want me to read the can? It's yeah, got cutesy go things on here. Can. So it says Henniker Brewing Company. As the great Mark Twain once said, if you don't like the weather in New Hampshire, just wait a minute. Yeah, we get that. Just like the conditions of, of New England, our rotating IPA is ever-changing. Hop heads are always looking for what's next, so we plan to keep you on your toes with this series. Look for the batch number at the bottom of the can and visit www.henikerbrewing.com for information on each release. Continue to check back with us for more releases throughout the year. Cheers. So it's a teaser beer. Which, which is actually what ups the value on it. Yeah. They sell it for more. Very limited edition. It's always but rotating. This batch is... 001. If I got the right batch. Is it on the lid at all? Yeah, I'm going to double check. While no, you're... It would be on the can. It would be on the can. Yeah. Okay, I'm working on it. All right, so while she's determining that exactly, we have... Company Belgian style quadruple ale. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be exciting. It was this on the bottom of the can. Is their fifth anniversary 2018 uh, brew, basically. And so, oh, an whoa. anniversary brew. How sweet. Very Happy exciting. five, guys. Yep. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, do you want to read the can on this one real quick before I open it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, we'll read the can. We'll read the can after. Okay. All right. So as you guys know, we're new at this. This is kind of our firsty. This is take one. We're afraid take of cameras. One. We have no idea what we're doing here, but we know we like to do this type of stuff. So this is golden. Oh, it looks like a beautiful Belgian. That just looks delicious. It looks so pretty. Yeah, and we're just gonna tip that up and crank it in. Look at that. Oh, we'll that is light. just beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Also, I mean, with the quadruple at the same time, you're going to get that little bit thicker color on the Belgian styles, a little more syrupy looking, and that just that just looks amazing. But uh, it seems to have the same opacity. That seems yeah. kind of like it's, yeah, that not is quite so good. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. You know, you're drinking beer when you can't see through it. <laughs> Oh sure. Wow, that's good. Oh, uh, that's just delicious. It's ten point five percent alcohol. So be careful. What was that? It's delicious. Yum yum yum. Very it's very you don't taste the alcohol in there at all. You like a lot of times when you have these higher volume beers, you, you end up tasting alcohol burn. What? 
Um, and this is 10.5. And no. you don't taste it at all. It actually tastes more like a 7. No, that, so I was definitely guessing. It's really well, well balanced. That's really nice. Be careful crafted. with this one. This is a very, very good beer. Um, this one goes for $14.99 for a four pack. It's worth it. Yeah, you're not going to drink two of these or, or three of these in a sitting. You're going to break it down. This, this is, is still absolutely worth it value wise. Technically, the thing. Like, the, the, the one can is still more than a serving of wine, but you definitely get that full experience as though you're consuming, you know, a wine type of... Yeah. But it definitely is more casual and friendly and wearing a brown hoodie type of wine. But that's the Belgian qualities for you. Especially that's, when you double and triple it. That's really, really good. That is really good. Bravo. Yeah, I'll put it back in that color for you. I think that's way too high. There you go. Can I see? We're, we're doing this on our iPhone. So thank you, iPhone. Yep. Uh, thank you, Apple. <laughs> hey. Not that you know, you're fruits sponsoring are, us. Fruits but are good for you. <laughs> <laughs> More fruity. <laughs> so, like we said, this is our first time filming. This is kind of fun. Right. We have many years behind the camera. We, we do photography, but we've never been in front of the camera. So this is extraordinarily awkward. Very awkward. <laughs> I had to try to, like, my beard up a little bit you know you touch your beard, beard all the time what are you trying to tell them don't touch it up like, oh well you, you touch, touch it up, up. But you touch it like you know yeah yeah i know well no you, you try to get don't... it down yeah Ow. usually i try to get it down i try to get it down because it's crazy no, no no this is about the beard not the beard even if the beard is cute beards are welcome here <laughs> <laughs> we're not prejudicing against beards here obviously oh wait i'm gonna read the can while you're Enjoying. Wait, I should give some more. It's quiet. Let me just do this. Oh, you know, I can't even give a description. There's a lot of caramel going on, but it's not that crazy sweet calling, calling caramel. There's, it's a rich, gourmet, caramely. Oh, it's good. I almost want to call it toasted sugar more than caramel. It's more like a brulee. Yeah, yeah. like a brulee with, um, you can just like a hint of apricot, a hint of like very ripe mm. pineapple, but not like, not like tropical pineapple. It's more like Really that. enjoy that. You know, and, and that's another thing with Henniker Brewing Company that I've enjoyed is the mouthfeel. Of their brews the mouthfeel they've always had a quality mouthfeel even their lighter beers have a full mouthfeel to it it's, it feels like you're drinking something it's opposed like a, to feeling like you're drinking water with bubbles in it you know you actually get the experience of the craft brew in there and, and that's really something that's been awesome to experience with Henniker. you get to kind of chew on it for lack of a better term it's like mm -hmm. It's like going and getting like a, a really high quality even coffee. Like if you've got cheap coffee, you really feel like it's just colored water and you're like, toss it back. But then you get a really great cup of, co cup of coffee that slows you down. This beer definitely slows you down, which is fantastic because so much is so fast in life. It's nice to have something that actually stops you and it's like, oh, that's beautiful. And I think I got a little bit of apple and black cherry. See if the black cherry's in there. It's almost like a dried apple. Not like a Granny Smith apple, but I like can a, smell the apple. Like But it's like a Macintosh apple. Like you could eat this with apple pie and you'd be so happy. Okay, well maybe I'm always happy eating apple pie, but Oh no um, no, you could totally eat this with apple pie. It'd be great. Actually apple I didn't crisp really... would be better. Oh great, the age old battle. You vote. <laughs> we'll fight, you vote. <laughs> and we'll both be right. No, that's really is good. I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna that's just can. divine. Well, divine that's brown. A... <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, off the grid series. Did you know this was the off the grid series? No. <laughs> We're trying to go off grid. Um. In our house. Please. In our house. In our home. In our home. Whatever. But it's, it's it's a slow process. <laughs> <laughs> it's a journey. We'll just call it a journey. Let's just say five years never comes. 
<laughs> it's good to make plans. It's okay to let them go when you lose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the can. Can. All right. <laughs> okay. Off the Grid series. Company is a Belgium style quadruple ale brewed in celebration of our fifth anniversary. Henneke Brewing started with four guys, an abandoned warehouse, and a dream. That dream continues to grow, and none of it would be possible without you. Yay, that's us, right? Thanks, Henneke. Um, we, brewed, uh, we brewed company using house toasted cherry wood. Boom. There's the cherry. The cherry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aged in white rum from our friends at Black Hill Distillery in Lee, New Hampshire. Cheers to five years of great beers and good company. Cheers! That's awesome! Uh, I'm going to Henneke, Henneke, Henneke. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do a Henneke uh, Tap House Brewery and we'll check them out. Yeah, after mud season, <clears throat> y'all. And uh, and we'll have to maybe do another post on Henneke. This would be really cool. Yeah, because I'd love to meet some of the peoples and have you meet some of the peoples because it means so much more when you know who's brewing. Yeah. So one of our big goals with this is to uh, is to bring in uh, bring you and get you to know get to know New England companies brewing as in beer, coffee, anything you can pretty much brew, even kombucha if you find New Hampshire kombucha people. I mean, I brew kombucha, companies. but it's not good. Right. So you know anything that you can brew. And then uh, wineries, uh, vineyards, things like that. Yeah, we want to go wanna, see the dirt. We want to see, see the some dirt. vines. We want to actually taste the, the, the wine that comes out of New England. Yeah, it's got a completely different profile. We are rocky people up here in New Hampshire. There's like so much so much mineral in the soil. So we want to yeah. see why. Why is it important up here? And then it heads to some of the other states that definitely have completely different... I mean, we're, we're very unique as much as we're a small area. And yeah. it's all within driving distance. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, we also want to do reviews on tattoos, which is going to be really exciting. And tattoo parlor, uh, parlors. And tattoo which, parlors. No, it's we, just the tattoos. The studios, studios and, and workshops and actually, or whatever they want to be called. Yeah, so that you guys all have a comprehensive idea of what these parlors are and what these breweries and wineries are so that when you go and get, you know, that type of product you got an idea and at least somebody's opinion well yeah we want to be your friend that tried it first so. um so if you have any questions we want to know what you wish you knew i know we've got a list of things that like going into a place that you have never had an experience with you really wish you knew before you got there so you felt like you kind of had a hand not the upper hand but had a you know a scope of what you were getting into like nobody wants to you know go off the highway to get to a vineyard that's 20 minutes out of the way to buy four bottles because you really wanted to try New Hampshire wine but you don't know which one to pick and you don't know if it's gonna be worth it but if you know a friend stopped there and was like you have to go or you want to get your first tattoo but you don't you're looking for a certain profile that meets your hopes and expectations we want to try to find a place that meets those and um yeah so we want to know what your questions are so that we can find some answers for you that's that's the goal is trying to make it easier you know New England might be small but it's so it's got a a lot of miles so let's try to like shorten some of those miles and get some of that information maybe find a couple of places that are worth skipping because we're your friends we just want you to know that you're important so yeah so if you like us hit the like button if you really like us please subscribe we're gonna try to post these as often as we can we like doing um, this so we like oh, doing this care. type of thing um, and we're going to hopefully get better at it and so on and so forth. So definitely subscribe to our channel. That'd be awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> right, hit the button.